Hi YouTube, it's Karis. Um, I just felt like making some videos and doing a little bit of crafting tonight and I wanted to show you how to make a flower and I didn't even get one out but we've been sending them at, uh, to a lot of people on our pocket letters and I want to show you how we make them. I use my Stampin' Up! punches if you have these fine if you don't you might have something like it and you can use it but first I use this punch and oops. punch out my flower bottom this is the base then I find pieces that I I want to put with this and I'm going to be using this so I've picked out these colors and so I'm going to take this punch the label the label punch which they don't carry these punches anymore but like I said um, you all probably have something that you can use in place of it so I'm going to punch out three of these and I'm using three different colors of paper okay and then you take some dimensionals pop dots um, you know you know what they are these are the dimensionals from Stampin Up I really like these because if you need to cut them they're hectagon so they're easy to cut also um, they're not too thick and that's what I like they even have the mini ones now which I really like okay so I'm gonna have this being my base, or not my base, this is my base, this is going to be my first layer. So on my first layer, I put three dimensionals. I know I should have taped this while you were watching me, my hands, but I didn't feel like setting up my camera right now. So it looks like this. And I'll put it on. And what you do is you do it across from each other and it lines up really well like that okay because you put three there the next two they only need dimensionals on each end that one in the middle on the bottom one was just to hold the rest of them up so I think I'll put the darker green next then I'll put the lighter green over that one And it looks like this then I'm going to take I have I got this one out and I got this one out I, I, they don't have these punches anymore I'm sorry I'm showing you punches they don't have but I've used these for a long time to make these flowers you don't have to use these you can use circles or any kind of um, smaller size you have to make the center of the flower So I'm going to punch that and then I think I'll use what's left of this piece and do this size flower. And then I'll show you how I'll stack it up. And here I don't use pop dots. I use glue but you know what I didn't get any glue or tape runner so I'm going to I'm going to use my dots. Not dots, but. Do you want the small ones? Um, what are these called? 
pop-ups. Gosh, I can't even think. Dimensionals. I'm just going to do a couple like this. And if you want to, you can take a rhinestone. And I think I will use this one. Put it there. Let me. Oh, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on, runner on the back of this so I can attach the flower right to the middle. And, and you can build up the middle however you want. You know, you can decorate this with other stuff if you want. But then you end up with a flower. It's uh, actually called Punch Art. This is one that my mom made that she's putting in a pocket letter. And see, she put, I don't know if you can tell, she's put Wink Stella on it. And then put these little um, embellishments. But yeah. If you have any questions or you want to see more of stuff like this, just let me know. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.